overall some key challenges as we move into this world that is more dynamic. Well, the governance portion is, is a real problem. What, how do you handle security and privacy? How do you introduce data governance as code so that it is not just running before or after something happens, but in stream of what's going on? Um, there's a lot of complexity with the integration of this data. There's data flows everywhere. There's real time, there's batch, there's streaming. We're having to deal with that. The integrity of the data, we've got a lot of processes that are asynchronous or that are autonomous. And then we got to bring that all together so that we can make sense of what's going on with our customers and with our market within our business. Um, contextualization is super difficult. Everybody's got a definition and a description of a data element and they might have some connections to them, but they could be very different. So we want to make sure that we've got the right language for our information and how do we apply that immediately so the context comes and sticks with the data and then lastly what's the point of just collecting it and hoarding it into our museums of, of warehouses why what are we doing with this we want to use it so we want to share that data we want to share the insights that come out of that data um but one of the challenges too is that moving from this world of sort of batch to in motion, you know, being more dynamic with our use cases of data, we're having to think about different swim lanes around how our data is progressing and what speed do we need to make decisions? How perishable is the data and the insights to providing value to the organization? From a strategic standpoint, we're going to, you know, decisions happen a little bit more on weeks, you know, weeks, months, years. It's a longer time frame. So this is where we want to bring our information together and make sense of it and have the right um, consistency of information. Nobody likes bringing their dashboard to the C-suite, having a conversation, they say, but I saw that same report from someone else yesterday and it doesn't tick and tie. I mean, that's notorious, but really where we're pushing towards is those digital experiences, which is performance. So addressing the issues of quality that are happening within hours um, to weeks where it's affecting what our products or our operations are doing. We may be thinking operationally and like really quickly, like what happens when your delivery truck is not making it to the house and, and delivering on a package that needed to get there in 24 hours because it was food and it was perishable or it's, a, or it's medicine and it's perishable. So you got to think about that. And then lastly, we just want to be connected to our customers all the time and see what's happening. So if they're struggling with their shopping cart, whether that's online or whether they can't find something in store, it's right there as well. So that's, you know, that's really where we're kind of taking all those different perspectives and tackling them and have to address the new way.